and welcome aboard my friends. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to just talk about archery. I'm not going to take a few shots. So you see I hit the target. We're going to talk about a book. This is Howard Hill's Method of Shooting the Bow and Arrow by Jerry Hill. That's Howard's nephew. And Howard told him the truth. Because Howard did not tell us the truth. He just didn't tell us. This is Howard's book. It's stories on hunting. Basically, he says, I can't the bow at 45 degrees, which he often doesn't. And he says, uh, if you look at the, uh, the, the target, you can get used to pointing your arrow in another spot while looking at the target. That's important from his point of view because He's looking at the target, but he is pointing his arrow in a different spot. He does not point at the target. That's the big deal. Now, the I've had several archery books, and none of them say anything other than Howard Hill used gap, that kind of thing, or that he touched the back tooth. But they don't ever talk about what he was really doing. Now, this is Byron Ferguson's book. And Byron is the only one that says anything close to it. He says, he says, Mr. Hill's split vision method of aiming was basically gap shooting. The exception, the exception is because of the equipment he had available in his peripheral vision, he would see the arrow not only well below the mark, but also to the right of the mark. Get it? Below and to the right. This is the only mention I've ever seen of it, but it doesn't mean anything if you don't know how to shoot. It just says Howard Hill had a spot on the right. Anyhow, this book clarifies it. Howard told his nephew how to shoot, and this is what he said. He said that he had a magic spot. Now, listen, I've shot a longbow for a long time, and I know that a longbow wants to shoot a little to the left does it just wants to because the handle is wide and the arrow has to go around it so it will shoot to the left whether you put a heavy point on it whether you can't your bow more yeah can't your bow more it'll move the arrow but that's not the answer yeah put a heavy point on it it'll bring it around more but that's not the answer the answer is that the longbow always wants to shoot left no matter what you do it doesn't matter if you hold your head this way or bend your knee or whatever that's what it's going to do to you so what did howard do he didn't fight the bow he simply started aiming a little bit to the right and he was hitting the target that's all he was doing also, Howard Hill was weak eye dominant. Get it? Weak eye dominant. That's why he turned his head so much and had his eyebrow up, because he was looking at the arrow with that left eye. And you know what? If you do that and you close your left eye, you'll see the right one is pointing dead at the target, too. Get both eyes on. But that's how he did it. Double vision, I think. I think he was seeing double, because I see double. I don't call it split vision, I call it double vision. But anyhow, that's the kind of thing he was doing. Now, Jerry also, in his book, has some neat pictures. And one of them is like this. And he shows how your arrow is down here. And as you push, your hand will go up. And the arrow will go over the target that you're looking at. And as it comes down to the magic spot over here, you let go. And you'll hit that target. So it's the same principle as gap, right? If you hold it underneath, you arc into it. But also, if you always shoot left, you just hold it over there and you'll arc into it. It's simple when a great man like Howard Hill says it's okay to do it. Because most people, including myself, I always wanted to aim the arrow right at the target and let go. Now, you can do that if you get the right spine and you've got a recurve with a shelf. But if you don't, and you don't with a longbow, you never do, and it always wants to shoot to the left, do like Howard. Pick your magic spot and shoot. Okay? So that's the kind of stuff. 
those two things I think and here's the pictures in here very good pictures showing you where your your arrow points and then it goes up and here's a picture showing it going up and over the target and here's a picture fumble fingers and here's a picture showing it come down but there's some very good pictures in here he's talking about your imaginary aiming spot here um, here it's he was left eye dominant here it's how much should you cant your bow well you simply cant it until it looks straight to your eye that's how far you should cant it he's got all this stuff in there there's more stuff uh, about Howard Hill in this book than you're going to find anywhere else so if you're interested in learning Howard Hill style I just went on Amazon and found it anyhow I have found that uh, in the last three days since I've had this book that my left to right has been greatly improved. It's much more consistent actually. You're never too old to learn. Good book. Thank Jerry Hill. He's done a great job and he's a great shot himself. <laughs> okay, well, that's all I had to say. So that was a book review on archery, and uh, when we go out in the field in the future, you'll see some really good results, and uh, you check it out, and you'll be able to do it too. <laughs> okay, have fun. Talk to you later, boys.